Germany had successfully defeated the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in April 1941. Hitler ordered the creation of a puppet fascist state in what is today's Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and parts of Serbia, named the Independent State of Croatia, or NDH, under the authority of dictator Ante Pavelic. His Ustasha militia enacted violently anti-Semitic, anti-Serb and anti-Roma actions. The Bosnian Muslim minority was also persecuted by the Ustasha. Things became so bad that community leaders requested that the Germans annex Bosnia and Herzegovina in order to protect them. Heinrich Himmler, Reichsführer SS, permitted the head of the SS recruiting office, Obergruppenführer Gottlob Berger, to lay out a plan before Hitler for the recruiting of a Bosnian Muslim SS division. Keeping the peace in the region was tying down a lot of German troops, the plan being that the new division could protect its own communities. Regarding the issue of race, Himmler believed that the Bosnian Muslims were not Slavs, but instead pure Aryans of Iranian descent. The Germans had already raised a unit of Croatian troops soon after the creation of Pavelic's puppet state. The unit was called the 369th Reinforced Infantry Regiment, serving in the German army, its members wearing a Croatian checkerboard patch with the word Fratska, or Croatia, on the upper right sleeve of the German tunic and the right side of the steel helmet. About a third of the volunteers in this regiment were Bosnian Muslims, the rest Croat Christians, Ukrainians or White Russians. Numbering 5,000 men, the regiment served on the Eastern Front before being destroyed during the Battle of Stalingrad, the survivors being taken prisoner by the Soviets at the end of January 1943. However, before this, more than a thousand had been evacuated and they formed the core of the new 369th Croatian Infantry Division, used on anti-partisan operations in Yugoslavia until the end of the war. Regarding Bosnian Muslims, Himmler remembered that when Austria-Hungary had ruled the region before the end of World War I, Bosnian and Herzegovinian troops had performed very well in their service. The new SS division adopted as its headgear the Red Fez, which had been used previously by Muslim troops in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This new division would be used to crush Tito's communist partisans who were operating in northeast Bosnia and, of course, bring order to the area. Hitler approved the project. SS Gruppenführer Arthur Fleps was to raise the division. After negotiations with the NDH government, Islamic specialist and Serbo-Croat speaker SS Standartenführer Karl von Krempler actually organised the division. Recruiting rallies were held and a commanding officer was appointed. Standartenführer Herbert von Oberwerzer of the 6th SS Mountain Division Nord. Helping recruitment was the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, who was living in Berlin at the time after fleeing from the British-controlled area of the Middle East. The Grand Mufti was the Sunni Muslim cleric in charge of Islamic holy places in Jerusalem. He had actually been involved in the Arab revolt against British rule. He insisted that the new division be used only in Bosnia, but the Germans had other ideas. Not all of the 14,000 men in the division were Muslims. Due to a shortage of volunteers, part of the shortfall was made up by a 10% draft of Catholics. In fact, 40% of its strength was actually Yugoslav Volksdeutsche, or ethnic Germans. These non-Muslim men made up nearly all of the officers and senior NCOs, and were backed up by many full-time German SS officers who had been brought in to command positions. For example, the Signals Battalion in the division was all German. For proper training, the division was dispatched to German-occupied France. At this time, the unit had no name simply being referred to as the Muslim Division. The 9th of August 1943, a new commanding officer was appointed. Oberst Karl Gustav Zauberschweig of the German Army. He transferred immediately to the Waffen-SS as an Oberführer. Although he couldn't speak Serbo-Croat, he was well regarded and respected by most of the men of the division. 
But within the division in France were men who were dissatisfied with their lot and particularly resentful against their German officers and NCOs, many of whom treated their men with a lack of respect. The rebellious soldiers were both Muslims and Catholics. Billeted in the town of Villefranche de Rouergue, the pioneer battalion was commanded by SS Obersturmbannführer Oskar Kirchbaum. Before trouble broke out with the SS, this area of France was unsettled, with civilian demonstrations in Lyon, Grenoble, Marseille and Montpellier, and students singing the Marseillaise in Villefranche as they marched past the war memorial. The Vichy French police did nothing to stop them. The central conspirators managed to establish contact with the local French resistance leaders. At least one Yugoslav was already leading French fighters in the region. At ten past midnight on the 17th of September 1943, the mutiny began. Oberstammbannführer Kirchbaum was captured, along with four other German officers. After a short trial, they were all shot. One wounded German officer managed to escape. The battalion medical officer managed to persuade the rebels that they should release him. This they did, but he immediately raised the alarm, contacting local German headquarters. The mutineers occupied both the police and the railway stations. About 200 heavily armed Bosnian SS literally headed for the hills, while others hesitated, unsure of what to do next. The battalion's Muslim imam helped to quell further rebellion among the troops. The mutineers burned the battalion records so that the Gestapo would not be able to persecute their families afterwards. One group of 40 mutineers tried to fight through the cordon of German troops arriving to seal off Villefranche. SS troops entered the town and went house to house fighting the mutineers and either killing them or taking them prisoner. Between 30 and 40 were killed, their bodies dragged into the streets to be identified. Over a hundred of those captured were forced to line up alongside a large pit outside the town and were then summarily executed by machine gun fire. A few of the Bosnian SS managed to join the French resistance in the hills. A few were also hidden by sympathetic French civilians. One of those Bosnian SS who managed to join the resistance later received the French Croix de Guerre for gallantry. The SS then purged the division of any man it felt was suspect. 825 Bosnians were taken out of the SS and transferred to the organization Tot Labor Service. Out of this number, 265 refused to cooperate, so the Germans shipped them to Neuengamme concentration camp, where many subsequently died. The division was moved to Silesia to complete its training, and was given a new name. It became the 13th Waffen Mountain Division of the SS Hunsha, 1st Croatian. It was then returned to Croatia for anti-partisan duties. At the end of the war, the division retreated west away from the advancing Red Army and surrendered to the British. Interestingly, many former Bosnian SS fought in the conflict in the Middle East in 1947-48, including the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Both Syria and Iraq sent teams to Europe to recruit former Bosnian SS, and over a thousand fought in Palestine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.